there are three reasons why you took metronidazole for bacterial vaginosis and it didn't work. So metronidazole is an antibiotic that's typically prescribed as a first-line treatment for BV or bacterial vaginosis. Bacterial vaginosis is just an overgrowth of disruptive bacteria in the vaginal microbiome. But something we see a lot at EVI um, and is very common is that you'll have bacterial vaginosis, you'll take an antibiotic like metronidazole, and it won't do anything. Uh, either you know you don't experience any relief or the bacterial vaginosis just comes back. So the first explanation is that you actually don't have bacterial vaginosis at all. Um, something called aerobic vaginitis is resistant to metronidazole. So if you have aerobic vaginitis instead of bacterial vaginosis, you will not respond to metronidazole as a treatment. For two separate but related to that, Bacterial vaginosis is often misdiagnosed and confused for something called a yeast infection. Yeast infections are treated with antifungals, not antibiotics. So if you're given metronidazole for bacterial vaginosis, but you actually have a yeast infection, that's another reason why it might not work. And the third reason is something called a biofilm. Biofilms are common with bacterial vaginosis. It's this shield-like structure um, that forms and it essentially houses the bacteria that live inside it and makes it very difficult for treatment or medication to get inside them. And then you can have recurrent BV very easily from that. So if you took metronidazole for BV and it didn't work, you're not alone. This is common. That doesn't mean that metronidazole doesn't work, but there can be other things going on. So it can be really helpful to understand exactly what type of bacteria are in your vaginal microbiome, whether you're experiencing bacterial vaginosis at all, and whether those bacteria are prone to forming biofilms.